YouTube. I haven't done this for a while, and I do have a lot of unboxings to do, so I'll kick it off with the thing that, that I first did an unboxing of, which is something Index and Railgun related. Now, yeah, this has been available for about almost a month now. Uh, both of these have come out at the same time, and they are both only available as a DVD and Blu-ray combo pack. Um, and the movie is actually out, came out yesterday, also as a DVD and Blu-ray combo pack only. But, for some reason my copy hasn't come yet. Um, I don't know why, Zavi just seems to have had a lot of orders and they couldn't put them all out in one go. So, anyway, I have right here, Season 2 of A Certain Magical Index and Season 2 of A Certain Scientific Railgun. And though I think many people are being a bit harsh with this release, I've seen some reviews on Amazon rating these as 1 stars and 2 stars, uh, but to be honest, just, just ignore what they say, because even though... Some people don't like these. I'm perfectly fine with them. I mean, just to compare, if you don't know what I mean. Um, here's season one of both Index and Railgun. And this is what you can pretty much expect. It is a DVD size case. Uh, and it's quite thick because it's housing two DVD cases. And yes, one of them does say Blu ray. Um, some people don't like this, but to be honest, this is the kind of thing that you have to that um, Funimation is doing in America, uh, or at least something similar. At least they used to. I don't know if it's still kind of like this. I think they've moved on to just having Blu-ray cases. But either way, this doesn't this doesn't bother me. I like it. Um, I'm I'm not bothered. It's just. I mean, I'm pretty sure at some point either. Uh, it will be released separately as standard DVD and Blu-ray if it sells well enough anyway. So I just see this as kind of like a little collector's item. Uh, or maybe it will continue to be released as only a DVD and Blu-ray combo pack, but will just at some point be released as a thin case. So let's start with Index. So here we do... Here we go, not here we do, here we go, uh, yeah, so yeah, there's the front, there's the back, just all sorts of information, as you can see there, it's, yep, Dolby, True HD, yep, uh, Dolby Digital, uh, there's all the little technical stuff, so, nothing really fancy on there, and yeah, that's only, um, it is only region B and region 2, Blu-ray DVD. There's nothing really exciting in there. Uh, yeah, just, as you probably guessed, it's a cheap, flimsy cardboard box, not like a um, the previous release, which was a chipboard box, which I'm a bit disappointed about. But hey, the box looks fine. And here we go. Here's the DVD artwork from the American Part Two release. I like the artwork. There's part one in his artwork, which again I like in the back is just really the same thing, just with the that's just the Blu-ray details, that's the DVD details. So anyway, let's have a look. Let's open this up. And here we go. Four Blu-ray discs. For anyone wondering why they've done it as four Blu-ray discs when the first season had three discs, um it is the same amount of episodes, it's just this was how it was released in America. As, like I said, there was there was a part one release, and there was a part two release. So that's kind of how it's how it's worked here. Just, they've just used the same Funimation discs. There we are. So there we go. There's the episode count. And over here... You do have a reversible sleeve if you so wish to use it. If I can get it out. If I can get this disc out, come on. And over here. Yeah, there we go. So here we are. There's Miska at the back. 
um, Koroko Shirai, and I forgot what her name is. And yeah, that is some nice, that is a nice reversible sleeve, if you so wish to use that artwork. Now we can move over to the DVD release, and I am not holding the discs properly. Blu-ray, so wait, that's this one. Oh, just, yeah. That's the only problem with having the discs like this. It's really awkward. I might actually just. I'll probably try and do something a bit different. Uh, see, yeah, very difficult with one hand. Blu-ray, so there shouldn't be any scratches after after that poor um, thing arrangement. But yeah, uh, so yeah, this, this is uh, blah, 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 blah. these are the DVDs, and let's try and do this an easier way. If I can, oh, okay, it's going to be easier just to take the discs out. Anyway, you know, on that side, on the left side, is the episodes. Let's do it like this. So over here is the other vers reversible art, and there you go. Huh. I personally don't don't think I will be. Uh, using any of the reversible art because I actually like what we have here for index. So, so yeah, that was a certain magical index season two. Now let's move on to a certain scientific railgun S, and as you can tell, yeah, nice artwork there. We turn this over. It's again just the uh, technical details. There's the spine. Eh, nothing really fancy there. Again, the boxes, cardboard. Uh, and yeah. And again, it's the same thing as follows. This is artwork from part one. This is artwork from part two. And yeah, again. I like this artwork. In fact, I prefer this artwork. In fact, I wish that that artwork was on here, but then again, different artwork is always nice. So again, just the technical details, and it's the same thing here, and just giving information what it's about. So here we go, we want to do the Blu-ray first. Now, we'll, as you can see, there's the episode count there. And as you can see, yes, there is only three Blu-ray discs here because Relgan S was released in America as a DVD-only release for quite some time and was then later re-released on Blu-ray. Uh, and thankfully for the UK, we do have a Blu-ray release of this series. And here is the reversible art. Again, I will be keeping the original cover for the Blu-ray release because, well, that is just so much cooler. If you haven't seen Railgun S yet, I do highly recommend it. It is a fantastic. Um, it is probably the best part of the Index series. And again, left side has the technical details and the episodes, I mean. And here we go, that's the other reversible cover widget, which does, in my opinion, look quite nice. I might use it, I might not. I'm a bit undecided. I might just decide to keep all the uh, covers uh, as the way they are, and I just put the wrong disc in the wrong way round. 
this up. So yeah, that is the UK release of A Certain Magical Index Season 1 and Season 2 from Manga Entertainment. And yes, that's right, it's Manga Entertainment, not Animatsu. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Animatsu Entertainment is a is uh, a company that's partnered with Manga Entertainment. So you can expect them to be sharing a lot of licenses with each other, or Animatsu will be acquiring stuff for Manga, and then Manga will end up releasing it. Um, it's all a fairly complicated process, but either way, uh, if you go to the right place, you don't have to spend forty pounds per season. You can get it for, say, thirty-five pounds per season, maybe. Um, I mean, I got mine from Zavi, so if you go to Zavi, you can you can get them for a bit cheaper than most places. But either way, this is the release. Uh, I like it, and it's a good show anyway. So if you've You've seen season one and you liked season one. Go out and get season two and complete your collection. Hopefully, the movie comes soon so that I can show that off, and hopefully, that will also consider you to buy the film. Anyway, thank you for watching.